hey what's up guys welcome to design creators so on today's episode we are gonna actually do a color combination trick inside adobe illustrator so it's going to be a trick for you guys so i'm going to talk about color combinations first of all so first if you need to become a very good professional level designer you might definitely have to check on color combinations on various designs like this so all you have to do is go to google and search for web banners or poster designs or leaflet designs and you will get lots of various designs once you have got all of this simply look how they have how the whoever made this how he or she has chosen some colors what is the font color and what is the background colors so that you can get used to different color combinations and copying from others is no harm if you are a beginner but you might want to choose your own color combination right you might should know how to create your own color palettes so for that one of the tip that i can give you is you can go to this website which is color.adobe.com all you have to do is just search for adobe color and go to the first website and you will be here once you are here all you can see these are different types of uh, different color various color shades that you can choose from here right so here one of the most option that i use here that will be this uh, this complementary what is complementary is that it is a opposite color that means two opposite color right now we can see these are yellow and these are blue that means the opposite color or the complementary color of yellow will be this blue likewise for the green we have magenta or purple right as you can see you are getting several color combinations right in between here as well so all you have to do is simply copy the name of the color or we can call this as the hashtag of the color or the color code right once you have copied that all you have to do is go to your particular designing software in my case it is adobe illustrator once you are here all you have to do is just double click where you want to paste the colors from so in my case i have to double click this and um, all i have to do is paste that color code which i copied in here so i can actually copy the color from this website different color combinations so this is a good website uh, you should go and experiment one of the best part about this website adobe color is that when you go to the tab explore once you are here in explore this is my favorite part so assume that you are doing a design for like maybe for maybe for girls so you all you have to type in here maybe girls like the color pink right so all you have to do is type in here pink so all you have to do is press enter then wait until it gives different variants of pink so as you can see the adobe from adobe stock they have chosen an image example this rose image here so we have they have chosen different types of colors or color shades from this particular rose image likewise we have furthermore lots of images that you can choose from that here is the best part of the adobe color so i can choose like whoever i want who is my audience who is going to view my design so i type that particular design uh, design choice like example maybe it can be a, a design for a blue color based design so all you have to type is blue so it's like blue is common for males and females so here we have lots of blue, blue color combinations right if we have uh, logged into your adobe id right through illustrator all you have to do is just press add to library and all you have to do is sign in here and you have to sign in through illustrator once you have done that all you can do is just press add to library and go here and find out where the library is and all you can see is the color combinations will be loaded in your library panel but that's not what i wanted to talk to you but actually i want to show you a trick 
other than we are going into this website and choosing colors there is a quick way that we can do inside within illustrator one of the fastest and easiest possible ways to learn about colors right so it's actually a trick that i found out accidentally i found out this and i was very happy about it so first example assume that i'm going to create a background color like this but the background color maybe i'm going to give it a shade right two colors maybe one side i will go with a very dark blue and the other side i will go with a gradient of maybe this very light blue so we have a gradient color gradient means two or more colors combined together which makes it a gradient so once i have done this all you have to do is get the type tool and start typing something it can be something that it doesn't have to be any meaning on the text so all you have to do is type something and i'm going to make it bigger here's why right so once you have done that this only works if you have chosen the color black this only works with the color black once you have done that all you have to do is get the type tool or just double click the text and highlight that so now what illustrator does is it shows the opposite color which is on the background so the opposite color of this yellow this light blue is this type of orange so this dark blue this type of maybe butter color so you got the point right so we'll check this how do you get the color of this orange if you if you really need to know this orange color if you need to get the same exact orange color all you have to do is simply take a screenshot so all i'm going to do is i'm going to press windows plus print key on my key keyboard i'm i have taken the screenshot so please head towards your screenshot folder in my case it is in my pictures screenshots once you have done that drag drop it into adobe illustrator so here it is the screenshot so all you have to do is maybe get this create a triangle and fill it with the color maybe this one for the example right so go to edit gradient and actually i have to press this once you are here select this blue and get the color picker once you have got it select on this light yellow once you have done that do the opposite for this i have to choose this type of dark orange so now, so that now that i have copied it very quickly within adobe illustrator so most of the time most of us right is very lazy to go into websites and research about color combinations so in most of the cases when you have headings like this maybe assume that this is a heading right maybe that you want there's a spelling mistake that you want to change here maybe there is double e so now that you want to just simply delete one so that therefore you might highlight certain things so while you highlight itself certain text editings if you need to do you might have to highlight so now you will learn colors automatically if you know about this that this is a real thing that the opposite color is existing so if you know this you will actually learn things so better you use this way instead of going into several color combination websites but most of the time this explore tab this is very very uh, important you might have to go through this tab and research on your latest projects from now onwards so this here is going to be my next tutorial i'm going to teach you how to do this exact same design in adobe illustrator so guys all as always if you have enjoyed this tutorial if you feel like this is really helpful to you so definitely you know what to do please press the subscribe button and if you have any doubts remember to comment down below and i will be helping you so thank you so much peace out